Hey groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today on The Culture Study, we are checking out Maria by Huzza. Now Huzza, of Mamamoo fame, obviously, but also popular in her own right, has come back with, I believe, her first solo album. She has had solo activities before, but this is actually her first solo album. So there's a lot to look forward to here. Now, before we check out Maria, uh, this video is brought to you by our Patreon. Guys, if you enjoy what we do here, you want to support us, hey, we don't make money doing these videos on YouTube, but supporting us on Patreon could help us out a little bit. You know, if you go to Patreon for as little as $2, you get early access to reaction videos like this, and for just a little bit more, you get reactions to uh, listening parties, uh, early access to listening parties and our Japanese reactions, and for just a little bit more, you get live stage variety show drama reactions you know we checked out queendom on patreon so all of that is going to be on our patreon but if you don't want to support us monetarily or you can't we understand let's get into this video this is maria bauhaza and this is your form of therapy all right here we go whoa Harmonizing with herself? Okay, this is really not what I was expecting. What? They completely switched to a different song. There was like no transition at all.
the rest of the moves. Okay. I'm so... I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What do they do with that song at the... Br okay, we gotta watch this again, but... So, going into this, I think the thing that I found most surprising is that this song is not largely Latin-influenced, or at least not as much as I thought it would be. First of all, it's called Maria, um, or Maria. Uh, and then you even have... Look, look, at, look at the lettering. They even have the accent on the I. So, you know, one can safely assume that this would be a largely land inspired song i would say something like uh egotistic was a largely inspired uh land inspired song um and i thought yeah okay, okay of course like that style will suit her but then listening to this music video and i uh, listening to this song and watching this music video until that big switch up towards the end it really isn't that Latin influence, so I kind of got to listen to it again. So let's check it out. Also, I'm surprised that this is rated 15 only because uh, a couple things that I want to point out. Um, sorry for stopping like immediately, but a couple things that I want to point out. Um, she shows a lot of blood in this music video, which by Korean television standards, um, usually you have to censor blood. You have to censor guns and you have to censor blood. Um, you can't, maybe maybe the laws have changed in the past recent years, but usually you can't broadcast that. Um, so I'm surprised, like, because even in like dramas, sometimes they make you censor the blood. So maybe it's a certain amount of blood that you're not allowed to show. I don't know. Maybe you can't show blood coming out of someone uh, because it doesn't show her bleeding. It just shows blood. Um... And then uh, I believe at one point, like when she's in the tub, she's actually just in a laced bra. Um, I mean, you know, growing up in K-pop my entire life, uh, there were just like some things you never really saw. And like seeing an idol in just like a lace bra or a bralette, I suppose, uh, was definitely grounds for like the station, you know, suspension or banning or whatever. But I suppose times have really changed in Korea and they're just slightly a bit more progressive so that's cool so she's dead and she's like watching her own funeral like mourning herself I love this I love how they change into the color that's beautiful oh, that was cool it's also just like a great shot too, just like her surrounded by the flames. And so with her dead, what I like about this scene right here, what I like about this scene is like, first of all, it looks like they're, the set here is supposed to emulate a morgue. Um, uh yeah like with those with those doors and how clean it is and the white it looks like a morgue and if you look at this scene like the gray and like the nude color clothes um they're trying to imply like you know usually in a morgue the corpses are naked and the gray just like has the sense of like being devoid of color like when when you're dead you your face is kind of you sort of gray or whiten and so they're visually showing that they're showing they're visually showing the nakedness of being dead and the sort of loss of color and the scene in general just like is a lot more desaturated than it usually um, than a video tends to be. See, that part, the Maria, 
And then I thought it would go into, honestly, a slower kind of a drop and a much more Latin-inspired drop. But it doesn't, really, this entire song. Or most of this song, that is. Good lord. Dre must love this music video because the body rolls are so aggressive. So now she's wearing more of a straight jacket, but it's definitely a lot more fashionable it's a very fashionable straight jacket that they custom made but I, I'm, I'm curious as to what the scene with the pencils um are supposed to imply maybe it's supposed to imply like uh the people who writes about her people writing comments about her especially the way she like stares directly at you in fear I love the way it just slows down right there. Let's 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 check that out again. Yeah, so it's flowing nice and it's it's flowing nice and then it goes da 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 na na. I love the way it slows down. Cause this song in general, like I said, um, when when I was expecting something more of a Latin flair, I I thought it was going to be. Uh, a bit on like a slower side but like the song the rhythm of it is actually like very constantly moving and then it only in portions like this does it really slow down i love that so in 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 the first chorus she dances with the girls and then she has like the body rolls and then in this portion she dances with the guys and And she's taking on a much more, uh, much more powerful pose. And she's like still like rolling her body, but like she's more so gyrating her torso. I do like that. Oh, by the way, we got to talk about that. I do like that uh, with a lot of female soloists, um, they're going for. Um, both gender backup dancers. I don't think Solar did it, but um, uh, I know Sunmi. Sunmi has both male backup dancers and female backup dancers. Chonga has female and male backup dancer. I like how they switch off between the choreo, and I like that Haza's doing it too. It's it's it adds a very interesting dynamic. <laughs> See, there's like like almost little to no transition. It's almost like the previous song ends and then they just start this part. It's like a roll off in the drum, like, but it still doesn't warrant this kind of a switch up. Like it's so abrupt. It's very interesting. Yeah, and this is the portion where it gets way more Latin inspired. Like, especially, especially like that, uh, the rhythm, the, the, hold on. It's a very natural uh, rhythm that you hear in a lot of Latin music. Then the guitars. And it, it's so brief. 
It's so brief. It's like a dance break. I love this. This bridge is so... Oh! Hold on. Wow, the strings that come in there. Wow, hold on. Wow. It's like... It's like the scene in the movie where, like, the dramatic tension is starting to rise. Wow. I'm I'm actually curious as to what this scene is supposed to mean. Is is there a deeper meaning, or is this just like a fun cameo, or is it like um, symbolic of them congratulating her uh, on her solo album? Who knows? Um, actually, you guys might know. <laughs> Let me know. Anyways, Maria by Haza. You know Haza defying expectations with this song. Not what I was expecting. She still does the, the very, I feel like, very classic Quasar things. She still went for the largely Latin-inspired Latin sound, but the entire song wasn't like that. She still exuded uh, confidence and charisma like she always does. Uh, she still put on display her incredible sexual charisma and her sex appeal, which that is the one thing that people have always loved about Haza is that she has always kind of owned up to and kind of like, felt empowered by uh, being sexy because very few idols actually do go the sexy route and aren't that successful either if they do. So um, Hazad both did what you expected her to do and yet at the same time very much did not. Um, I like that this was very dramatic and it felt very artsy and um, very movie-like almost. Um, especially, I, I'm really, really in love with that very very abrupt i sh i don't know if i should like it because it was such an abrupt transition uh or lack of transition but i'm really in love with how this song ends you know the abrupt transition into that latin dance break and then that dramatic bridge with the violins wow wow anyways that's what i thought about maria by ohaza but Guys, what did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, guys, if you enjoy what we do here, hey, why don't you consider supporting our videos by visiting our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Formatherapy for as little as $2 a month. Get early access to videos like this and more. Uh, if you want to uh, support us for just a little bit more for our summer tier patrons and up, you get early access to videos uh, like listening parties, but also you get live stages and variety show reactions, reality show reactions, dramas, and stuff like that. So you can check that out on our Patreon. Um, but supporting us monetarily is completely optional. If you don't want to or you can't, we understand. Why don't you go ahead and hit like down below, hit subscribe, be notified when we upload a new video, leave a comment, and check out all our other videos over here.